so I thought I would show you guys what I'm burning this week and in case you are a new subscriber I tend to show what candles I'm burning every once in a while because I started this channel as a candle channel I did candle hauls I did reviews on candles because I love candles and there's a big wax community on YouTube that people that talk about candles they review candles so that's what I started my channel as so that's why I talk about candles a lot and I sometimes show what I'm burning just because a lot of my subscribers are into candles and they like to hear what I am burning and stuff like that so I figured I'd go ahead and show it anyway because you know even people that aren't really big into candles still like candles so you might be interested in seeing what I'm burning and then get an idea of what is good and what you might want to pick up at the store and what have you so first in the bathroom we have this one is by Heritage Falls candles we are premium soy candles in the scent brown sugar and fig these candles are made in Falls City Nebraska and these candles I got from a friend of mine at work her daughter was selling these for her soccer team I believe and I bought one of these and I think I paid I want to say like 12 or 13 dollars for this one it was a little expensive but it's for a fundraiser so it's for a good cause so this one here it's doing good it's burning good it uh has a really good uh I don't know if it's brown sugar, but it's kind of perfumey. I've never had a fig scented candle before, so I'm not sure if fig is, is has a perfumey scent to it, but this one does. Um, actually, I did have another fig candle before, and it was slightly perfumey too, but not as much as this one. I forgot I had a, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I just burned it a few months back. But uh, anyway, this one, it's nice. I like it. It didn't smell super strong at the first part when I lit it, but then further down it got it got stronger and it's doing really nice in the bathroom so I'm enjoying this candle it's doing pretty good and in the bedroom I am burning my favorite candle uh, of all time Bath and Body Works banana mutmeg bread pudding I have about three more of these left I believe and it's doing good in the bur uh, the burn is doing good right now even though it was super, super puny with flames earlier. So I had to use a cotton ball, which in case you don't know what that means, I always have people ask me, what do I mean when I say cotton ball? If you have flames that get really puny, like I should have showed you this before when it was puny, the flames are like barely lit. They just, they're almost getting drowned in the wax. That happens a lot with Bath and Body Works candles. About halfway down or so, they'll start doing that really bad sometime sooner. If that happens, all I have to do is blow out the flames, get a cotton ball, dab it into the melted wax, and absorb some of that wax, and then carefully throw it into the trash can. Make sure you don't be careful so you don't drip it all over the place. And then relight it, and then the flames will shoot back up. They'll be strong again, and it'll look much better. So I just had to do that with this candle because it was they had really, really puny flames. So it's doing much better now, it's throwing well. I love this scent, it's such a good bakery um, pudding, and you get that bread note in there. Um, it's not as strong on the banana smell as it is before you burn it, when you just smell it um, on cold, on the cold sniff, um, before it's burning, but it, it's really nice. It's a really good uh, nutmeggy pudding bakery uh, bready smell, it's really good. I love this candle. And in the hallway, I'm burning Bayberry by Colonial Candle. This is the large 22 ounce jar. And it's not burning all the best in the world. I have a lot of the problem with my large Colonial Candles that doesn't want to pull out on the sides. I have the hardest problems with getting them to melt down on the sides. It wants to just melt, tunnel down into the middle. Um, I sometimes put foil on them, but I haven't done that with this one yet. I may have to do that here after a while. But um, um, the smell is doing okay, though. It's uh, the smell in this one's like um, kind of reminds me of like almost kind of like a patchouli incensey type of smell, kind of like with a uh, evergreen kind of smell too as well, kind of mixed together, and then also slightly kind of a perfumey powdery note. 
a lot of my colonial candles tend to have a little bit of a powdery perfumey note it seems like on most a lot quite a bit of them actually um but yeah i like this it's, it's pretty good it's not super strong but um i can smell it and it's, it's just nice it's doing good just wish i could get it to melt down on the sides and i thought i'd show you these real quick in the living room i have these three votive candles going they're just walmart votives i believe they were in the scent i think these were I can't remember if these were the apple cinnamon ones or if they were the uh, berry cherry or berry or something like that. I forget which ones I picked up, but you can't smell them really. But I didn't buy them for the scent. I just bought them for looks for this uh, votive holder that our niece got us for Christmas. But I wanted to say that I had three of my Yankee votives in here and they were burning terrible. They were wouldn't melt down on the side. The flame was really super puny. They weren't burning very good. So then I ended up buying the uh, ones from Walmart and they burn much, much better. They're burning really good. And that's the main thing I bought this for was for looks. So I'm just sticking with the Walmart ones because the flames are good and high and it's melting down really well. So I think I will stick with the Walmart votives for this one here. And in the kitchen in my hurricane I have spiced coffee in this little tin here and it's by I think it's the Bold Brew Company is what it says. I got this one from one of my subscribers and it just says the Bold Brew Company and then on the other side it says makers of wax goods I believe. So I guess that's the company. And this one, it was doing good at first. When I first lit it, I actually smelled it quite a bit. I was smelling all through the house, but it got halfway down and now I'm not smelling it quite as much as I was before. So, um, but I did like when it, you know, when it was throwing, it was doing really good when I could smell it. Um, it had a really nice coffee smell, but unfortunately now I'm not smelling it. So maybe it'll pick up a little bit more once it, uh, maybe hit some more oil maybe because it's about halfway through now And in the kitchen living room area, I'm burning Italy Tuscan lemon tart from Bath and Body Works and The burn is doing terrific The flames are nice and high and it's burning Incredible Usually when I guess about halfway point The flames will really get puny a lot and this one has not got puny at all I haven't had a cotton ball or anything so this is how all Bath and Body Works candles should burn I wish I wish I wish actually they're almost a little bit too high I may have to blow them out and trim the wicks that never happens usually it's the complete opposite you have to stick a cotton ball in to bring life to the flames so maybe there's a chance this one will be good all the way through and the scent on this one is it's nice I'm smelling it it's good it's not um, it's not baker like at all and it's not as creamy as it was when I smelled it on cold sniff but it's kind of like a, a lot of people compared it to a lemon starburst and that's kind of what it smells like a little bit it's kind of a lemony kind of a candy kind of smell kind of somewhat it's not super tart or anything but it's just kind of a sweet lemon kind of but it's not super strong but I'd say it's probably about like a maybe a six or seven out of ten on the throw it's doing pretty good. And I almost forgot. Crossroads S'mores. And it's pulling out really good as you can see. Flames are nice. The mushroom top on there, probably have to pull that out here and cut that mushroom top off there. And I just lit this a few hours back and it's really, really throwing pretty good as what already so far. It's like a, uh, I've had this candle before. I had this candle last year, I believe. Was it uh, last, not this past winter, but I think the winter before maybe. And it's really good. It's a nice chocolate smell with like a uh, uh, marshmallowy kind of smell with it. And then a slight hint of like graham cracker, little graham cracker in there. But mostly I get just like chocolate with a little hint of like marshmallowness in there. It's really, really yummy.